Hello, music theory students. Mr. Lefebvre here, talking today about counting rest rhythms in four. If you've watched the previous video about counting note rhythms in four, you will know how we count quarter, half, whole, and eighth notes. We will count quarter, half, whole, and eighth rests exactly the same. The only difference is that we signify rests by putting our counting in parentheses. This reminds us that time is going by, but we don't hear anything. We'll start with the quarter rest. It receives one beat. When counting, we will give each quarter rest one full beat, written in parentheses. Next, the half rest. Remember, half rests look like a hat. Half rests receive two beats. To note this, we will write the first beat and draw a line. We then write the second beat on that line. As it is a rest, we put the whole thing in parentheses. Whole rests receive four beats and look like a hole in the line. Just like with half rests, we will write the first beat and draw a line. We then write the second, third, and fourth beats on the line. Again, since it's a rest, we put the whole thing in parentheses. Finally, eighth rests, which receive half of a beat. If an eighth rest is on the first half of a beat, it will get the beat number in parentheses. If the eighth rest is on the second half of the beat, it will be written as an AND in parentheses. Let's do an example of adding counting to an exercise with notes and rests. Here we have four measures of 4-4 four, four time. The first beat of any measure must be 1. Since it is a quarter rest, we need to put our 1 in parentheses. The next three notes are all quarter notes, so they get written as beats 2, 3, and 4. We now see a half rest, which gets two beats. Therefore, we write a 1, a line, and put a 2 on the line. And as it is a rest, we put the whole thing in parentheses. We now have a half note, so we write the next beat, 3, a line, and a 4 on the line. Next is a whole rest, which receives 4 beats. So we write a 1, a line, and put beats 2, 3, and 4 on the line. Since it is a rest, we put the whole thing in parentheses. The last measure begins with 3 eighth notes, so we write 1 and 2, which leaves us at the second half of beat 2. Here we see an eighth rest, so we write an and and put it in parentheses. We end with a quarter note and quarter rest, beats 3 and 4, with the 4 in parentheses. We can also work the other way, starting with the counts and filling in the notes and rests. Here we see four measures of counting, and we will fill in the notes and rests. We begin with one and, showing us we need two eighth notes. We then see a two in parentheses. We know this must be a rest, but looking ahead we see another and, showing us this must be an eighth rest. The next and is an eighth note. Beats three and four are combined, and in parentheses, telling us we must have a two beat rest, a half rest. Measure 2 begins with a single beat 1, meaning a quarter note. Beat 2 is by itself in parentheses, therefore a quarter rest. We now see beat 3, a line, and beat 4 on the line, a two beat note, or a half note. The third measure is a 1 with a line, with beats 2, 3, and 4 on the line, all in parentheses, a whole rest. The last measure begins with one and, two eighth notes then a single two in parentheses, a quarter rest, a three by itself, a quarter note, and a four in parentheses, a quarter rest. To review, quarter rests get one beat and are written as individual numbers in parentheses. Half rests get two beats and are written with the first beat, a line, and the second beat on the line, all in parentheses. Whole rests get four beats and are written as the first beat, a line, the second, third, and fourth beats on the line, and all in parentheses. And eighth rests get half of a beat, with the first eighth rest being written on the beat in parentheses, and the second half being written as an and in parentheses. Thanks for watching.